Okay guys, so here it is, the 1981 original Donkey Kong cocktail arcade table. I actually picked this up with Ennius Attic. I'm Todd by the way, and I've been in a couple of his videos now. So this video uh, he asked me to do, so I'm sending to him. Uh, this is uh, my review slash restoration of this uh, table. So we'll give you a quick overview. It's a cocktail table. Uh, you can see the original control panel here. Uh, up top we've got minimal artwork. I think this was kind of underdone by Nintendo versus the uprights. Uh, but still yet, kind of cool. Down uh, you have the instructions. And then pretty simple button layout. You can pick a one player, two player game, jump, and a joystick. You've got your original coin slot and your um, coin exchange. So, uh, this video is going to be about the uh, restoration of uh, this table. Uh, before I get started, I have to give a big shout out to that Tim guy on YouTube who I'm essentially copying. Uh, he did an excellent job. I could only hope to live up to his uh, work. Uh, and he's been instrumental in uh, getting me uh, to this point. So, thank you to him. Um, so, uh, follow us as we go along with uh, this review and uh, restoration. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys. So, this is the inside of the Donkey Kong uh, cocktail table. Uh, the monitor, thank God, was actually working. My problem, as you can see, was down here. I don't know if you can see this well or not. Let me see if I can shed some light on some things. Uh, it was in the motherboard. Um, there's a four board system. They make a two board. Mine is a four. Um, I'll pull these boards out here in a minute and show you what was going on there. So this was the problem, at least one of the problems, but the reason that I was getting the bad graphics on the Donkey Kong machine was uh, this ROM chip. Uh, you can see on the side here, several of the legs were corroded off, so the chip was bad. So I ended up sending a, a request out to uh, Hobby Roms, highly recommend them, excellent, uh, who burned me an exact replica of this ROM chip. So if you don't have an EEPROM reader and don't want to spend a hundred bucks on one, this is a excellent solution. And uh, pop this chip uh, and another one in, uh, both were 5H locations, and uh, that was my problem. So. Not too hard of a fix, but um, did take a bit of investigating. This is my Donkey Kong uh, four board set. If we get down closer, you can actually see that it's uh, four boards. So one, two, a metal plate, and then three and four. Um, there's an audio video board on each side. Uh, if we actually try to flip this over, I can show you where my problem was. So, that chip on the left, on the second row there, if you can see that, uh, was the problem. I've already reinstalled the new Hobby ROM chip. I spent several hours cleaning these, these boards. They were filthy. So, a lot of Q-tips later, they're looking much better. So, these are ready to go back in. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you what the uh, machine looks like now when it's powering up. Bear with me here. So immediately you can hear some noise from the speaker. We've got life. I just installed the new chip and look at that. The graphics are correct. So no more red, yellow, and blue background. We've got good graphics coming through. So let's add a credit down here. And I've actually got this set up for free play over here on the side. So we'll add a credit. Excellent. One credit. So let's see this thing start up. One player. Ah, oh, that is beautiful music to my ears. So we can go right, left. Let's see if we can go up and down. Up, down. Can I jump one-handed? Ah, got it. This is difficult playing one-handed. Oh, 
as you can see. So it's working. That's great though. So we've got much more work ahead of us though. So here are the internals of the entire Donkey Kong machine. I've taken it completely apart. I discharged the monitor for anybody that's worried about that high voltage sticker. Um, and just waiting to be cleaned at this point. So I actually have the um, metal components outside uh, almost ready for paint. I need to primer them. Uh, so I've cleaned them all out at this point. So all this is going to get wiped down and tested. Uh, this is actually the Joy um, joystick board. Uh, this is uh, the Player 2 board. Uh, naturally, it's in better condition. This is the Player 1 joystick, and as you can tell, it's not exactly in the best of shape, so we're going to have to give that some attention. But, all in all, very happy to have all this out where I can get to it and clean it, and we'll uh, hopefully get it back in working here soon. Alright guys, here's the finalized product. Went with uh, Baby Blue or Donkey Kong Blue back on the cabinet. I uh, thought it turned out pretty nice. Went ahead and did the inside as well. Up here you can see the legs. I still have to paint the other legs white for any Lego fans out there. Anyway, so we're coming along here. Progress being made. Here is the tabletop. It's been removed. One of the stickers there on the left you can see has been removed. I still need to remove the other original decals. This fleece material down here that actually uh, allows the glass to rest on it, that will take some work to get up. And then you can see obviously there is some damage to the original edge banding. So we're gonna replace that with brand new edge banding. So um, to make that a better look. If we actually tilt this up, you can see that the original decals or instructions for the use of the system are still in here. They're not in bad shape, considering. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a nice treat to have as you were going through it. It's not really anything too technical, but at least it's something. So, we'll get that fixed eventually. <laughs> So here's the table after all the decals and the veneer siding has been removed. So uh, to get the decals off, I ended up using Goo Gone as well as the felt on the edges. For the veneer or the melamine, I still have a little bit of sanding left to do, but I basically did the reverse of applying it. Used an iron to heat it up and then uh, the putty knife you see back there to take it up so just a little bit of sanding but have a nice fresh clean table to apply the decals to now so here's the cocktail tabletop with the new artwork from the seeker 77 off the claw forums installed and i went ahead and uh went ahead and copied um that tim guy and did the white melamine edge banding and i've got my dust cover just sitting in there for now I'm overly happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's looking good thus far. So we will hopefully get this installed here shortly. So here it is, long awaited, finished Donkey Kong cocktail table product. Uh, you can see several things right off the bat. It's totally different from where it started. Uh, it's been painted. Uh, every nut and bolt and wire has been taken out and either cleaned or replaced. Uh, I had the Seeker 77 from the Claw Forum uh, do new artwork for me and send it. It's excellent. It's on point with the uprights. He also did the control panel overlay, overlays. Uh, excellent job with those as well. Uh, you can see there's been a new coin uh, mech faceplate as well as new locks that have been applied. Uh, over on the side. You can see that the melamine white edge banding has been applied. My quarter clips have been buffed and new screws have been placed. Uh, still need to put a lock there to hold the tabletop down. I left my free play switch. There's your original Nintendo um, 
faceplate. Uh, new bolts uh, and washers. Uh, the bottoms have been painted white as well as the uh, bottom has been buffed out. Um, we slide this around gently. You can see that a new cord plug has been installed as well as new overlay panels on the back. So a little bit on the inside of the machine quickly. So the monitor has been cleaned. Once again, all the wires have been cleaned. Um, everything's been checked. The inside was also painted to match it um, as if it came that way originally. I am very happy with the overall result. Uh, these are original. Uh, they're in actually good shape. Uh, this one's a little wrinkled, uh, but all in all, not too bad. So, without further ado, we can dim the lights. Um, let me try to do this one-handed. We'll shut this back down for you. And let's go ahead and see if we can power this up and see the game play. So, you can hear the speaker come on. And we have life. There it is. So, very happy with this. A long project, but was very much so worth it. Donkey Kong cocktail table. Complete.